Hello, today we're in the while loops chapter of Learn to Code 1, and we're doing the seventh activity called Nesting Loops. And if we read the goal of Nesting Loops, it says to use a loop inside another loop to move around the spiral. Okay, and then it continues in this puzzle notice the spiral of gems, one at each turning point. A gem is at each turning point. So it says to solve this puzzle, we'll need to put one loop inside another loop, or nest one loop inside another loop, just like an egg is inside a nest. We're going to say we're going to have one loop that's inside another loop. So let's take a look at this puzzle here. And uh, notice that as Byte starts out at the arrow here, he's going to just walk forward some number of tiles. And then when he gets to this gem, he'll collect it, turn left, and then walk forward some number of tiles. When he gets to a gem, he's going to collect it, turn left, then walk forward some number of tiles. When he gets to the gem, he's going to collect it, turn left, then walk forward some number of tiles. So this keeps going on, this pattern where he walks forward some number of tiles. And then when he reaches a gem, he will collect it and turn left. And then he'll go back and repeat the pattern of walk forward some number of tiles. Okay, so this walking forward some number of tiles is going to be repeated over and over and over. Okay, well, how many times will that be repeated? Not so sure about that right now. But let's think first what's happening uh, over and over and over again. Well, this idea of walking forward some number of tiles, right? So that's what we want to do over and over and over again. Well, walking forward some number of tiles is itself a loop. Walk forward until we reach a gem, okay? Or as long as we're not on a gem, we want to keep walking forward, okay? While well, not on a gem, we want to keep walking forward. And then when we are on the gem, we're going to turn left and uh, do the same thing over again. And then we're going to, when we reach the next gem, we're going to do the same thing over again. So this loop is going to keep happening and happening and happening over and over and over again. Well, what's going to keep happening over and over again? We are going to be walking forward uh, until we reach a gem. Okay, so that loop is going to be right here. This loop that says, what do we want to keep doing over and over again? Walking forward some number of tiles is going to be this loop. Okay, so we said we're going to want to do something over and over and over again. What we're going to want to do over and over again is walking forward until we reach a gem. And that's going to be this loop right here this inner loop because we're going to want to do that some number of times. In fact, we know what we want to do here. As long as we're not is on a gem, as long as we're not is on a gem, we want to keep walking forward, move forward. Okay? So this right here, this idea, while we're not on a gem, keep walking forward is going to take care of this part of the puzzle, then this part of the puzzle, then this part of the puzzle, and so on. Okay, over and over again, some number of times. Now, let's think about how many times that's going to happen. Well, uh, we could count the gems, and that might give us a clue. Or better yet, let's look for some condition that will be true when we're done doing that. Okay, so as this spiral keeps looping further and further and further in, the last gem that we're going to do it's way down here at the bottom of this sort of canyon in the middle of the land. See it right there? So what's true at that point that may not be true somewhere else? If we're walking forward each time, well, one thing that might be true down there is that we're blocked. Right? There's nowhere else to go because there's a wall in front of us. So we won't be able to, even if we turn left, we won't be able to go any further there. Okay? So maybe that's the condition we'll do and say, we'll say, uh, as long as we are not blocked, as long as is blocked, 
where not is blocked, as long as we're not blocked, we want to keep walking forward collecting gems. Uh, when we're walking forward and we do hit a gem, what do we want to do? Well, we want to collect that gem first, right? So let's say collect that gem. And then the second thing we want to do is turn left. Don't forget to turn left so that we're ready the next time through this while loop to come back and do this again. Keep walking forward until we find a gem. Okay? Think about this. If we wanted to, we could put this while loop that I have highlighted here. We could put this in a function, and then this function would read, sorry, that this while loop would, would read, while we're not blocked, maybe our function name would be keep walking forward until we hit a gem. Okay? So that's how that's going to work. Let's try this and see what happens here. And I will run the code stepping through so we can watch this go relatively slowly. Uh, well, again, what we've got here is a nested while loop. We've got a while loop that's nested inside another one here. So the first time through this while loop, this one will run and it'll go all the way until it's done. And we'll know it'll be done because we'll be on a gem. Okay. Then when we're done, we're going to execute these two lines, collect gem and turn left. We'll come back up to this while loop and ask, are we blocked? If we're not blocked, we're going to do this while loop one more time, which says keep walking forward as long as we're not on a gem. And then when we're done walking forward or when we are on a gem, we'll collect that gem, turn left, and then come back again and do this while loop again. Okay. Let's watch that happen here. Remember, this while loop inside here gets executed all the way to completion before we come down, do these two commands, and then come back up and do the outside while loop one more time. Let's step through the code. So as long as he's not blocked, he's going to keep walking. He's going to do this while loop here, which just says keep walking forward until you're in a gem. Now he's on a gem, so this while loop will stop. We'll go down and collect gem, turn left, come back up to the top and say, are we blocked? No. So we're going to execute the inner nested while loop again, which says keep walking forward until you're on a gem. When is on a gem is true, this will be false, and we'll go down and we'll collect the gem and turn left, and then we'll come back up and ask, are we blocked? And if we're not, we're going to keep walking forward collecting gems. Sorry, keep walking forward until we get to a gem. Then we'll collect the gem, turn left. Are we blocked? No. So we're going to execute the inner loop again, which says, while we're not on a gem, keep moving forward. Now we are on a gem. We'll collect it, turn left, execute that loop again. On a gem, collect it. Turn left. Are we blocked? Not yet. Keep moving forward. Until we get to a gem, we got to a gem, we collect the gem, we turn left. Are we blocked? No. So we keep moving forward until we get to a gem. We do that right away, so we collect it, turn left, and finally, are we blocked? Not yet. So we can move forward. Uh, no, we don't move forward because we're right on a gem right away. So we collect that gem, turn left. And that's it. It's the next time we're blocked. And uh, that's, that's our indicator to stop the outer while loop. All right. OK, so that's it. Uh, this is called a nested while loop. And you'll get pretty good at these. We're going to practice this quite a few times. Just remember, uh, what happens in one of these is this inner while loop. We want to abstract that idea to say, what is this doing? Well, this is just taking care of a path moving forward until we get to a gem. And we want to do that idea, move forward until we get to a gem, some number of times. In fact, until we're blocked. We want to keep moving forward until we're on a gem. If you have any questions, post them to the comments, and we'll try to get back to you on that. Okay, good job, everybody. See you next time.